Hello, lovely to see you. Thank you so much for joining. This is Esther at Stampin' Star Creations. Tonight I'll be using some stamps and some ink to create my very own background paper and hopefully you can cut it up and make four cards from just one sheet of A4. So it's lovely to have your company. Please do stick around if you're new to my channel. It's always a good chance to think about subscribing if you want to catch my other videos and ideas. Do give me a thumbs up if you've liked the video, comment below, especially if you've got any questions or comments about what you've seen. So thank you so much for joining. I've already got a thumbs up, that's amazing. I haven't even started. <laughs> nice to see you all, do come on in. So I've gone ahead and set myself a colour challenge. So I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator, a bit like being an Avon rep, but for the stamping world. Um, and crafting world, it's not just limited to stamps. And I've divided their 50 odd colours into different categories. How? by their names. So in the last few weeks, I've done a few challenges with my very own colour challenge. And if you've got the colours and would like to join in, then by all means, please do join in. Just use the hashtag SSC colour, SSC standing for Stamp and Star Creations, colour challenge, spelt the English way, C-O-L-O-U-R. So the ones that we've covered already are fruit salad, <laughs> tropical, cottage garden, and summer days. I think we've covered. Yes, we definitely did do summer days. You're gonna craft with me, amazing. That's great, Maya. Maya, Maya is it Maya? I think with the spelling it is Maya, I'm guessing. I ask you that every time you come on, I've noticed it's got quite dark and I still got my curtains open. So let's get started. I, I drew the wrong curtain. Did you see that? It's the other one. <laughs> right, let's turn you around. Okay, so if you want the combination of today's colours are by their names, then let me, um, then by all means, have a guess. Sorry, there's quite a lot of lights reflecting. So it's quite a lot of colours to play with, six colours in total. So I've got So Saffron, Crushed Curry, Old Olive, Mint Macaron, Cinnamon Cider and Cajun Craze. I wonder what, what, what do you think you would name those combinations by their names? So Saffron, Crushed Curry, Old Olive, Mint Macaron, Cinnamon Cider and Cajun Craze. Now you've got to remember that I've had to be a little bit more... Uh, give me a bit of artistic license in terms of what categories they fit into because it's very tricky trying to find names for these categories and to try and think of something to um, come up with all these, these challenges. Maya, thank you, Maya. That's fine. You don't mind how I say it. Thank you. Maya's guessing fruit salad. Now, we've done a fruit salad one already, which was grape, mambo and apple. Food, or oh, you're on the right wavelength of food, but something specifically food. Lunch, says Anne Marie. <laughs> Autumn days. Oh, I like the sound of that, Debbie, but specifically with the, the colour names. So I'll have to give it to you in a minute. I'm just going to grab a piece of paper. Nobody's guessed. So, specifically, thinking herbs and spices. Oh, yeah. Herbs and spices. So, we've got saffron and mint, we've got curry. We've got Cajun, we've got cinnamon. I've had to throw in uh, old olive because olive didn't really fit anywhere else. Herbs and spices, okay? Olive is not technically a spice. So in front of me, I have a sheet of A4, very vanilla cardstock. I did a last minute change and decided because of the colours, I'm going to use vanilla. So we'll be using Field of Flowers and Comfort and Hope. If you haven't seen this kind of technique before, um, you stamp over the whole sheet and then you can chop it up and use it for various projects. Deborah's doing a huh? Question mark, question mark, question mark. <laughs> oh, honeybee, that's a good one. Caribbean, she says. Okay, it's herbs and spices. Oh, that's all right, Cindy. I'll let you off just this once. Never again, though, okay, Cindy? Cindy, call me by the wrong name. <laughs> So Ruth is 
my sister at Artful Stamping. She's the one that introduced me to this amazing technique of stamping. I know some of you have given it a go. Some of you have not yet ventured to give this a go. So I'm going to be brave and go with this. What looks like a fairly random, it's not random, uh, <laughs> this kind of twiggy stamp. So why am I working backwards? I do not know. Now, this didn't happen in rehearsal. <laughs> I'm overthinking, that's why. Sometimes you, when you think about it, it's worse because you're thinking rather than just doing it. So I'm stamping all the way across the sheet down the middle. See, I'm, I'm making a few boo-boos already, but there you go. We're going to carry on because it's, it's about the kind of overall look, not about the detail when you're doing this sort of thing. What I did want to do is combine the directions of the light and dark, but it's not always easy. A spice drawer. That's a good idea, Susan. Always adds unexpected things. I like that, Jeannie, because it's so true. <laughs> and also, I might have rehearsed it, but it's not going to be like the rehearsals, is it? It's a bit like a play. So I'm doing a cross design, so hopefully by the time I cut it up, you'll get a bit of each of the design now. I was just worried about the fact that I knew that my edge of my block has got ink on it. I was more worried about that than running down the gap here. So just be careful when you ink up your ink. I've got a bit over enthusiastic with inking, I think. Okay, so I could add to this, make it a little bit more bushy, but um, mm, shall I? I could even go in that direction as well. Oh, go on, let's, let's. <laughs> because we're here, and I, I, I am going to add in more stuff as well, so this might just end up a big blur. Who knows? <laughs> but what do we say, ladies and gents? We've got to... Got my other sister on tonight. Hi, Helen. Nice to see you. Spill the beans or the spices. Oh, I hope it's not my internet. It's usually my internet, to be honest. How's my reception tonight? Nobody's complained so far. No, it's not me. It's food on your screen. Somebody's complaining about a blob on my paper. <laughs> Deborah dropped food on her screen. Yours is playing up. I, just, I think it's just generally this time of night. Now, apologies for my crush curry. He's a bit bad. I ordered a new one. It's just a little bit worse for wear, unfortunately. Oh, is it playing up for like everybody? But it's always whenever I do my lives, it seems to play up, which is no good for when you're trying to do a live. So I'm going to get a very blobby flowers here because I try to overcompensate by inking it up to try and make it better, and it's kind of maybe over inked it a bit. Can somebody tell me some good news? <laughs> Let me know if your internet's good. I'm wondering whether I need to change the time of day that I uh, I do my lives because I do always seem to have internet troubles. And for those watching it on replay, and sometimes I've gone back to have a look at the reception, and I can see what you mean. It's just like a big, big blur. It's very annoying, and there's nothing I can do. Um, just checking. Yeah, I'm on the extended Wi-Fi. Facebook is worse. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I think we might need to invest in a new um, booster, see if that will make any difference. Are you still guessing what the uh, category is, Deborah? <laughs> For some people it seems fine. Maybe it's not my internet, maybe it's everybody else's. 
So we've basically stamped a big cross in the middle. And um, because I've got a bit of a blank space there, I am going to do this. Oh, <laughs> helps if I have my stamp the right way up. Donnie, lovely to see you. There we go. Oh, welcome, Bobby. Is this your first? Bobby with an I. Thank you, Tilly. Your name's not Tilly, I know, but some of the newer people that watch, I cannot get their names in my head, and I'm really sorry about that. So we're going to bring in... What are we going to bring in? Uh, Cajun Craze. It's another one of my... Unfortunately, I've got a few ink pads, which are a little bit dodgy. So you're just going to have to bear with the ink pads and bear with my reception. Oh, there you go. So this um, stamp here is from Comfort and Hope. Comfort and Hope. Do, 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 do. Comfort and Hope. Weed infestation. But just keep keep going. <laughs> Somebody will love it. <laughs> Somebody might like it. <laughs> oh dear. So I'm using, you might wonder about my choice of colours if you've just popped in. I've set myself a colour challenge to use the Stampin' Up colours and I've divided them into categories. This is herbs and spices. I don't know why I have to say it like that, I just do. So you may notice I'm not stamping the stem because I don't, we've got enough stems happening already in the picture. A little bit of turmeric there with pink popcorns. <laughs> we'll have to watch replay for the names of the stamp sets. No, you don't. I'll tell you now, Donny. We're using Field of Flowers and Comfort and Hope. Okay. So the, the initial ones I use, so the, we've used the stem and the flowers. That was Field of Flowers and the red rubber is Comfort and Hope. So where do we go from here, ladies and gents? We've still got three colours to use. Um, oh no, we used crushed curry. You haven't used so saffron. So I'm going to keep with the flower theme of the saffron. And I'm going to use these little flowers that come with it. Now these flowers can sit in amongst the, the field of flowers if you want them. And with this one, you can really kind of Use this as what you'd call your, your spots or your dots, as your filler. So, um, I'm just adding these in. As, so you're kind of starting with your main colour and your main biggest design, and then you go smaller with your stamps. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Kind of more coming. <coughs> Excuse me. Where were we? <clears throat> right. Um. Yes, and then go smaller. Although, and then, but saying that, I am going to add in some more some textured stamps as well. Again, I might divert from my rehearsal. I'm going to fill in these gaps a little bit because they do look a little bit just a little bit odd with just emptiness. So I'm going to just fill it in with a bit of flour. There, right. Okay, so we've got two colours left. Mint macaron and cinnamon cider. Now, I'm going to show you... Oh, very Easter-ish. It does, yes, I know what you mean. It looks like Easter. I am going to show you my cheat sheet uh, because I, I think I'm going to change it up. So here's my rehearsal on copy paper. And um, this is what it'd look like if you cut it up into four pieces, okay? So basically you get a quarter of that pattern, you don't get the full pattern. Now I have used, as you notice, in mint macaron along the edges, along the whole edge, I've used that lovely meadow stamp. But I'm wondering whether that doesn't work with the clash of the greens. So... I think I'm going to change it unless anyone shouts and goes, no, I absolutely love the meadow look. <laughs> so what am I going to change it to is the question. I'll think on that. In the meantime, I'm going to use that parquet flooring one, which is one of, shh, it's one of my favourites. You don't tell that there's that, but that's, I think that's one of my favourites in the set. 
and the much neglected i'm sorry cinnamon cider that's why you come out tonight to play because you haven't had much of a look in so far i'm just going to put a piece of paper underneath so here we go this is cinnamon cider and in fact i'm not going to try not to overdo the cinnamon cider but just add kind of tempted to go in there just a few outline shapes and lay down the box so if you're finding that you don't like the white space or that you've got gaps to fill textured stamps are really good for filling the gaps <laughs> and you can't don't be scared to print over things you know when you look at prints of things you'll see that um, patterns do go over each other so mint macaron i am thinking about possibly that dragonfly i mean he's not going to show up loads is he so maybe i have to use cinnamon on that we'll have a little think but we've got according to my herbs and spices i've got to add some some of the um what you call it uh, mint macaron sorry my brain froze for a second okay let's try these little dots see what that does for us so we'll go in with the mint macaron so these would be your dotage if you watch ruth she'll say dotage <laughs> actually it will work it work it so you don't want to kind of you don't have to take over with the the other colour, it's up to you how much of the colours you use. Just going to dot this around. Around, dot it around and around. <laughs> I'm going to bring you in in the hope it will focus. Focus. I do feel the need for maybe a bit more of this colour. But we shall see, we shall see. So if you'd like to join in with th these colours and you want to show me what you've done or you might have seen a video that I've done and you want to show me and you're on Facebook, then you can join my group on Facebook, which is SFC Inspired and Shared. Or if you want a group of friendly people just to show your work to and it's been you've used Stampin' Up! products, then by all means, um, you can do that. Herbs and Spices is the, the name. So Mint Macaron. I think the only one that's stuck in there is Old Olive. So oh, I'm tempted to do the, him in Cinnamon Cider. Just things just call to me. I just, I get the sense of what I would like to use. Now I'm tempted to use this afterwards, after I've cut it up stamped off in mint macaron which one the little dragonfly so if you're wondering who i'm talking to i am doing this live so there are people watching live and commenting as i stamp and talking i'm tempted to use this one it's a bit brave but i'm going to do it just to add something something don't know what but just I just am <laughs> you don't think the mint macaron will show oh Deborah were you still guessing what the theme was <laughs> no I just thought some of these are going to look upside down but it doesn't matter hey Sheila great to see ya right you might think somebody's vomited on a piece of paper but don't worry when you're up <laughs> I will show you you're lost Deborah I'm if you're lost then I <laughs> oh did I say the mint won't chop so what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop this down and then I'm going to add in my dragonfly afterwards 
Now I'm going to do what I did last week and take a quick photo. Because it's quite interesting to see how you've come from this to then. Um, okay, sorry, but you guys are going to have to just scritch over a bit while I take a pick. Okay. Yeah, that's come out quite dark, but never mind. It'll do. It will do, donkey. Draw my curtains on there. Need a nutmeg. That would be a nice colour, wouldn't it? That could be a nutty nutmeg, or it'd be called, or something like that. And it would be a colour in between cinnamon cider and some and um. Crumb cake. <laughs> so cutting it straight in half. Okay. Now this is a bit different, but once you're making it, once you do um, add some embellishments and like a focal point on it, then. Um, I'm not finished, you've got to remember, you you know, you can't just judge a picture, an unfinished picture or painting. You've got to wait for the finished article. Okay, so that's it chopped up at the moment. But like I said, I'm, I can envisage a bit more playing. Okay, so this is the point where you look at it and think, hmm, what can I afford to chop off a little bit of? So I go three and seven eighths by five and five eighths. So I'm going to chop off that side. So the bit with less pattern on it, basically. Don't cut it, it's so pretty. <laughs> well, the trouble is, if I have it as a whole sheet, I can't really do much with it. But this way I get four. Now, if you kindly PayPal'd me in, oh, I've got concentrate, I've just cut that bit, haven't I? In July, or if you sent me a super chat, which you can do now on my YouTube channel, I will be sending out a video soon, um, an exclusive video. So what I'm going to do now for, the, for my supporters is to send out a video an early release video, so before anyone else gets to see it. I think that's the, the best thing. And then I can use the content for YouTube. So what was I gonna say? So yeah, the video that I'm going to send out is of the cards that I've made up using some One Cheat Wonders. So uh, look forward to that. I can see um, some message, some comments that I need to reply to. My PayPal is linked to my video, so it should come up. It is www. Uh, no, www.paypal.com. No, PayPal. Uh, let's start again. <gasps> Vicky, thank you. You're going to be on my list for um, next month. Of, and I think you're on this month as well. Oh, can somebody put in my PayPal? It's pay, PayPal me forward slash stamp and star creations oh thanks vicky vicky just super chatted and she kind right i miss i missed a comment by bobby and i noticed it scrolled by um lavender is a herb yep good morning vicky i grow sage which looks like lavender ah okay you could put them in an embossing folder. Well, Kerry, the truth is <laughs> I've got one big embossing folder and I've got two of the new Christmas ones. But I've all because I don't have the plate for my machine to do the embossing. The three and seven eight. So I've ordered the new machine and some embossing folders. I think I kind of ordered I got my order a bit muddled up and I ordered a bit, in, in all seriousness, ordered a bit too many in one go. I wasn't planning on that, but there you go, that happened. So I've got the new machine, which means I'll be able to emboss. So I was holding out, rather than buying the embossing plate, I held that to get the new machine so I can do some use some embossing folders. I've never been brave enough to layer things like that. It's beautiful. Thank you, Bobby. 
I like the way you folded your test paper into quarters. Thanks. Yeah, I just think look look at prints and look at the way things are, are layered, and um, you can pattern and your own designs. So this is screaming a bit of sponging to me because I want to vintage it up a little bit. So rather than wasting my grid paper, I'm going to bring in my scrap. So if you're a bit scared to do it, yeah, use a test sheet like this. This is just computer paper. Obviously, you're not going to get the quality that you get with the Stampin' Up! paper, but it gives you a visual as to where things lie and how they'll look when you do actually cut them up. So free tip for you there. So I'm using these um, soft makeup brushes, which are available from... I don't know, makeup stores, Amazon, you name it, they're around. And they're just a nice soft brush to use with our inks to um, apply and ink and to do some blending. Now I might leave that top corner open. I did that once before and I quite like the look of it. Now, I am wondering whether to go a bit darker and maybe go a bit more cajun -y. New word, just made it up. Occasionally. Now that one looks like it'd be, that's got quite a lot of red in it. So I'm going to just dip it in here. Thank you. Okay, oh yeah, okay, you're not a, an admin, are you? I could have, if you're an admin, I could have got you to have popped it in for me. Where's Ruth when you need her? Helen, where's Ruth? <laughs> She's not here to do her work. She's supposed to be working for me. <laughs> Oh dear. I do all that work for her and, all, and she repays me by not coming in and helping me out. Cajuny. Is that a new word though? Cajuny. Not Cajun, but Cajuny. What I'm wondering about, I think, and let's change it up a little bit. Let's do these in like a yellow. Yeah, she's probably busy with Helen doing something of her own. Thank you, Deborah. So just bear in mind that if you super chat, um, I wouldn't go doing massive amounts because um, YouTube does take a percentage. Uh, PayPal do take a percentage, but it's a smaller percent. Ruth's coming now, right. <laughs> oh, I quite like the yellow now. I thought I was going to go vintage, but I do like the yellow. I mean, you can't go wrong with yellow, can you, really? You heard your name. Well, it's too late now, love. Sorry. Oh, uh, you're excused. I didn't realise you had guests here or there. I didn't realise you had people and... I was just saying I needed an admin to just pop in my PayPal details just in case. Yeah, the, the yellow's working, isn't it? I think until you get playing, oh, big blob, um, you don't know. So in my head, I was like, oh, yeah, vintagey and browns. But actually, right, let's give you a plain, plainer piece of paper to stare at. And I'll bring these back in. I don't know if I can match them back together again, but it just gives you an idea of where things might have been. Okay, so we've gone from that. And, and then you can play with them individually and decide which way up you want them to be. Okay. Ah, thanks, Ruthie. Ruth's demonstrating how you can super chat. <laughs> right, let's work with these then and do something with it. I'm tempted by circles, methinks. I'm thinking circles. Now, because Bumblebee, the colour Bumblebee has come along, I must admit, poor crush. So uh, we, we've got to rein it back in and, and bring on the crush curry, embrace the crush curry. So I am thinking... 
wonder about squares. Squares or circles? I know what you're going to say already. You guys are going to say circles because you like circles. I could do rectangles. I don't know now. I'm stuck. Oh, Ruth, that's the other reason I wanted you to. I'd written down the DL size things, but maybe I'll have a little chat with you. I've lost my post-it note. Here it is. So you said for DL... Score the long side at 10 and a half centimetres and cut at 21, but it didn't make sense when I uh, when I tried to, to do it. Like, I, you have to explain that one to me. Or you could do portrait. You could. I didn't think about portrait, but you could. Maybe those two portrait. Right, come on then, let's make a decision. What sentiments shall we have? Shall we stick to thinking of you in my heart, my friend, you are, believe, love. I'm just seeing if there's any sentiments in there that I want to use. Uh... I, I think I I tend to make make more thank you cards at the moment because they're just handy. <laughs> I'm just looking at my sentiments. Sorry, wasted airspace. Okay, let's get out some very vanilla so I can start chopping up some bits. Oh, oh that's thick. Uh, I'm sure I've got some. There you are. Very vanilla. Right, I'm going to grab out a sentiment. I don't want it to be a birthday card. Greeting, itty bitty greetings. Let's have a look at you, shall we? Oh, I don't know, I'm a bit stuck. I'm a bit stuck to know what to use. Maybe just a thanks. <sighs> Quite warm tonight. Right. I think when you've got lights on you, it gets just get quite warm. I think thank you is fine, isn't it? Like a and I've got enough kind of customer cards. <clears throat> right, let's have a little thinkies. Might just do some squares or some Rectangles, a little bit tight in that. Pick a small sentiment. Ah, oh, well, that's not too bad. That's about the right sort of size, I reckon. Now, what colour is the next choice? Maybe if I do Old Olive. Okay. I'm going to go thank yous. Is that, that's oh, that's going to be super tight to cut out, isn't it? Let's go a bit bigger. Thank you for being my friend. Night Tracy, rest well lovey. Thank you. Mm, thank you. Mm, thank you. Hey Cheryl, I do need one more. See, this is where your scraps come in handy. See, oh, do you think I could fit the word thank you on there? Let's try it. Let's be brave. 
If it doesn't, it doesn't. But if it does, it does. <laughs> Yay! It worked. Right. Let's get these ones cut out quick as chips. We've got two Cheryls in tonight. Welcome from Florida. Florida Cheryl. Welcome. Is this your first time, Cheryl? If you're watching and lurking, you do know you can press the live chat button and you can see the comments. You might be able to you might be doing that already. And then if you actually type in, um you can actually see your messages. <laughs> so do come and introduce yourself if you feel brave. I promise you we won't bite your head off. Newcomers are welcome. Maybe you've just stumbled across my channel because you're intrigued. I must say, I think it's time for a new embossing. Uh, what did you say? A new embossing machine. Sheila, I think you're totally right there. It's a good job I ordered one then, isn't it? <laughs> it's a good job stamping. This is very well loved. I've had it... Oh, I try to think how many years I've had that machine. A long, long time. Right. Where are we? Zoom you back on in. Come on in. Right. Let's have a look then. I think that one. Are you? Ah, oh, welcome. Is it Hyla? Is that how you pronounce your name? Lovely to see you. Everybody welcome Hyla. Or was it? I think that's how you pronounce it. Do correct me if I'm wrong. Now, we could ink around the edge, but I'm thinking... What colour is this? Oh, that was the red one. <laughs> Good job I tested that out. Maybe just a little bit, just to test it out. Let's have a look. I was going to leave them plain, to be honest. Actually, I think it blends better if I do that. So, that one was that one. Oh, Vicky's giving me tips about how I should cut in at my dies. Thanks. I think I know it, Vicky. I just don't always do it. <laughs> there we go. And then, also, these will be then mounted onto pieces of card. So you're thinking this still looks a little bit in your face a bit much wait till it's on a piece of card because it then pops again now is this the yellow one yep so this has still got ink on from when I've used it before so I can just go ahead and do that Ah, oh, Reet, nice to see you again. Gina. I am coming to the end, to be honest. Oh, Anne-Marie Anne -Marie said, I was thinking about ink on the edges. I taught you well, my protégé. <laughs> oh, dear. Hi, Nikki, welcome. Can you stay online for another two hours? This is fun. I'm crafting along with you. It feels like we're hanging out. Maya, that's amazing. Do share your work, Maya, on my Facebook group if you're on there, please. Love to see what you've come up with. Um, if Ruth can tell me how to do the measurements for the DL one, I might be able to do that. Right. Cajun, you don't often come out, do you? Let's have a look. That could work. Let's just get out some more colours. You crushed curry. You crushed curry. You crushed curry. Is it too yellow? Is it too in your face? Have a good day, everybody. Off to do more chores. That's a bit boring. Gina, you sure you don't want to stay? 
<laughs> Swap it out a bit. Oh, that's a bit better, isn't it? Not so in your face. Right, let's try. Mm, what colour are you? Put card in landscape. Well, somebody was suggesting portraits, so I'm trying to keep everybody happy at the moment. But we can try landscape. There we go. So my sister Ruth at Artful Stamping, she does this kind of thing too. In fact, she's the one that introduced me to this very cool method. So do follow her if you're not following already. Just trying to choose my last colour. You know what you could do is do vanilla on... Actually, I don't have any. Mm. Do you think mint macaron's going to work? Oh, sorry. You're talking about the DL sizes. Oh, actually, look, I like mint macaron on that. No, you're watching Esther. I'm Ruth's sister, just to confuse matters. So there's three of us girls, and we're now all on YouTube. Woohoo! <laughs> so if you can't get enough of us. Oh, thank you, Hyla. Yeah, quite like the mint macaron. Oh, yes, that's her name in the chat. Yeah, we sound alike. Well, that's good news for me. It might not be so good news for Ruth. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, right, I'm going to get it sticking because I'll be here. I will be here all night. Okay. Your family are in England. Oh, amazing. So where do you live, Maya? I'm in uh, the West Country. I'm in Wiltshire. That sounded very posh. I'm not posh. <laughs> oh dear. Not posh at all. Right, we'll keep somebody happy and have that portrait. Oh, you're in Canada. Lovely. Posh is overrated. <laughs> oh dear. Ruth, were you trying to talk to me about the DL size? I think it's easy to do it off the, off the uh, portrait landscape. Pick your fave. Just an idea. Um, yeah, talk, talk me through it another time. Because after I've, I basically go on Facebook. Um, I'm on Facebook under the same name. So you can catch me, Stampin' Star Creations, on my Facebook page on a Tuesday a bit earlier before I come on here. It's my email, my email address isn't on here actually. It's something star creations at gmail.com. Oh, I nearly put it down upside down. That was a close one. DL, I don't know what it stands for. Something letter maybe? But it's le le Americans quite letter sized, don't you? I think. You can't see what I'm doing. I said it with a Somerset accent. <laughs> somebody said to me the other day that um, I was talking to somebody on on Messenger, and they. Say, I think she said, well, I won't say where she lived, but she said, but you don't sound like you live there. You sound um, more Wiltshire. And I was like, oh, I didn't realise I'd like taken on the accent. But I think there's just some words that I might get a bit of a, a Wiltshire twang without realising it. I've been here 19 years. Oh, where's all my dimensionals gone? I'll just have to use the itty bitty ones. That's true. Define posh. I don't know. We use posh quite quite relaxed, don't we? When we probably don't mean posh, do we? So I've just got some twine. And it caught my eye because 
I've ordered some more of this. I think that must be on my third roll of this stuff because I like it so much. Just adds a little bit of something on the back. Nikki likes the dark green one. Maybe I should try doing another giveaway. I tried before, but I, I fell miserably. <laughs> so if you comment after the live, not now, but when the video is finished and it's loaded, which sometimes takes a while, if you comment and let me know which one your favourite one is, I will try and remember to do a, um, a draw. Okay, how about that? Oh, thank you, Helen. Helen's telling us that it stands for dimension lengthwise. That's what DL stands for. Desperate to make a new baby card with no baby related stamps. Wendy, I know how you feel. <laughs> but I do love doing alternative baby cards, I must admit. So there we are, there's one. Right, speed up, Esther, speed up. I feel like I'm slowing down rather than. You gotta speed it up. Mm, slow it down. I'm trying to sing without singing, have you noticed? I'll be punished by uh, YouTube if I do. <laughs> Just using the dimensionals to stick the twine on the back. Shania twine. <laughs> Get it? Sorry, that was awful. Oh, thank you for joining, Maya. It might be my internet for all I know. I am wrapping up now, trying to. If these things will stick down. Rather than sticking to my fingers. One finger, one thumb. Oh, fiddly or what? It's because I'm using the teeny tiny ones. I need to get the big ones up. Oh, <gasps> Nikki, you bought a card? <laughs> I think this is where this technique comes in handy. You could just do some like a cool background and then um, make it your own. So Ruth's got some lots of masculine card ideas of doing this style. I do want to cover up that nice bluey bit. Okay, we're getting somewhere. What I'll do is I'll just do one more, the loopy bit, I think. Get some bigger dimensionals out and then find them. And then we'll call it a night. Ooh, I think I need me some more wide dimensionals. You like pretty too much. I understand that. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. So in my dimensionals, I tend to like to cut them in half because one, because I feel like they last longer. <laughs> and two, because it fits in my storage if I halve it. Yeah, um, also C6, yes, C6 envelopes correspond with A6 cards. Helen was saying C, C4 is envelope size that corresponds with A4. So that means it's slightly bigger. Don't stick down there. Right, one more. Thank you so much for those thumbs up and lovely to have your company. It's great to have so many people joining me for my live tonight. I'm sorry about the dodgy connection, which I can't do anything about. So if you want to go back and watch the replay of how I made all these from scratch, because that's how it was done tonight, we made it from scratch, 
using two stamp sets and six colours. So these are the colours, Old Olive, Cajun Craze, Cinnamon Cider, Crushed Curry, Mint Macaron and So Saffron. And that was my herbs and spices uh, category. And I've chose to use a field of flowers and comfort and hope for our slightly autumnal looking cards tonight. So you can place your votes now if you wish. We have card number one with a, a, a cur crushed curry background and a simple sentiment. We have card number two, also in portrait, but with a Cajun craze background with addition of a circle and some twine. We have card number three, edged with garden green and giving you a nice little border with the crushed curry with twine. Then we have card number four, uh, introducing to you mint macaron with a little twirly design with the loopy twine in the background. So I was happy to catch you live. My name is pronounced Hila. Oh, okay. Where are you from, Hila? <clears throat> Pam has voted for two and three. Why, thank you, Miss Jeannie. Jeannie, can you please email me? Because I owe you a card from Facebook. Nikki has voted for card number three. Sheila has voted for card number two. Um, could somebody type in my email address, stampinstarcreations at gmail.com. Sheila, I'm going to try and remember that. I was going to pronounce it a different way, but I thought I'd go the way. Kay has voted for card number one. Sheila has voted for card number one. Vicky has voted for card number two and card number three. Deborah has voted for one. Uh... Kerry has voted for one. Deborah has voted for number four. It's crying. Number four's crying because nobody's picking it. Is that what you're saying? Um, herbs and spices, field of flowers, comfort and hope sets. Christine has voted for number two and four. Norma has voted for number two. I love them all, but let's go with two. Janice has voted for number two's getting a lot of love. Deborah has voted for number two. Helen has voted for number two. <laughs> This is fun. Reet has voted for one, two, three, and four. Right, guys. Any more votes before I go? <laughs> Tilly Crafts, who I cannot remember your name for the life of me. It's terrible. I definitely should have a list in front of me. Has voted for number one. Serene has voted for three and four. Christine has voted for three, 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 and then four, three, one. Could the next person please come to the checkout, please? That'll be Deborah Broughton. Deborah Broughton to the checkout, please. <laughs> Your lottery numbers are... Thank you, Kay. I'll let you into a little secret, not so much a secret. Uh, let's turn you around and we can have a chat if you want to see the face behind the camera. Margaret has voted for... Double Margaret, hi. I didn't see you sneaking in. Um, so I did... Um, helped when school was open. Well, I did. I did do bingo. I was just about to say that at school, I helped to run a chocolate bingo event. So it's because it's for the children and families, rather than number five. Reet, get out of here. <laughs> um, yeah, I was involved with the school PTA, and we ran a couple of chocolate bingo events. And guess who got to be the caller? So I sported my blue wig that I've got. Some of you would have seen it. Some of you would have not. And um, I did all the calling of the numbers. So, um, yeah, it's great fun. Right. Is Ruth going on? <clears throat> Thank you so much. So it's amazing what you can do with set colours, set stamp sets, four cards, uh, one. Yeah, blue wig. I was, it's like alter ego. Still got it, Helen. And Helen wore it on her wedding day. <laughs> yeah, the one you... So I wore it, I think, did I buy it for my 16th birthday? Was it 16? No, something like that. Night, night, see you on the other side. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. It'll be lovely to have you join me again. And... Uh, 
if you did like the video it's up to you but you can just give me a free thumbs up and even better just leave a few words after the video has finished my 18th oh, yeah I don't think yeah, it wasn't my 16th yeah maybe my 18th yeah still got the wig many years on it might have to come out for my 40th thank you so much take care everybody lots of love and hopefully i'll catch you again next tuesday don't forget you can head over to facebook and check out my card that i made on facebook ruth will be on in a bit i'm gonna get tidying and we can go and head over and watch ruth at artful stampin.com no uh, artful stampin helen joy creates my other sister if you haven't already she's nearly at 100 subscribers so you might be the hundredth if she's not already. You make me so happy, Esther. You make me Lara, Lara and Lara. <laughs> Thanks, Deborah. Great. Take care, everyone. Laugh. You make me laugh and laugh. Not Lara and Lara. <laughs> oh, dear. Right. Oh, you finished, Pamela. Well done. Right. Mm -hmm. Take care, lots of love. Ciao, ciao, Bella. Helen's page is Helen Joy Creates. Jeannie, Helen Joy Creates. It's her new Stamp Up channel. Bye, Honeybee. Bye, Vicky. Bye, Deborah. Bye. Thanks, Kay. Bye, Double Margaret. <laughs> If you want a shout out, I'll do it now, okay? For free. <clears throat> While I tidy up. Oh, thank you, Bobby. Bobby's encouraging everyone to give a thumbs up. Just go boop and you're done. Can I go now? Quick, before it's an hour. <laughs> I might turn into something. <laughs> something silly. <laughs> uh, bye.